was a little harsh the other day when I pointed out Epic's biggest fails of the year when we had such an amazing year in 2021. So today I'm gonna talk about the things I'm most excited about for 2022. It's gonna be a crazy year. Let's go. Okay, first I'm super excited about the trajectory of Fortnite Creative. Last month I went through the whole history of like chapter two and Fortnite Creative and really just showed me the difference between 2020 and 2021 and how Creative was really kind of slow, almost dead. But then in 2021, all of us were blown away by the amazing updates Creative Mode was coming out with. I mean, just looking through the device list right now, it's so different than it was at the beginning of last year. Wildlife spawners, all of these vehicle spawners, crash pads, dance mannequins, the sky dome, the VFX spawner, customizable lights. I mean, the list just goes on and on. I feel like more than half of the devices that we have right now came in 2021. Not only that, we're getting all sorts of weapons now. We got all of these mythics. We've got consumables just coming out of our ears. We actually got quite a few really cool galleries. I mean, I made a whole video about all the updates we got last year. And when I talk about the trajectory of Fortnite Creative, like it's very exciting. Epic's putting a ton of effort into creative mode. Clearly we're excited about 2.0 and I'll talk more about that in just a second. But 1.0 is in a great state, at least when it comes to building. I know there's a lot of like drama out there around discovery and people playing maps and people can get codes and people can't get codes. But building in creative mode is actually such a joy. I've loved getting to play with all of the new updates. I feel like every week or every other week we get some big update and then I can play with these new things for weeks until there's another update. Like I've loved doing all of the like creative science videos, just trying to push things to their limits. Like creative mode has always been fun for me, but this last year it just expanded and got way more fun. As I could play with all the new devices, all the new galleries, just everything that they came out with, it excites me for this year. Because if Epic stays on this current trajectory like I'm talking about, it's just gonna go up and up and up. At least that's what I'm hoping for in 2022. And I have faith that Epic is going to really push it to its limits because they are excited about Creative 2.0 and want to make sure that the current state of Creative is in a good place for when that releases. Okay, now let's talk about a few specific things that make me so excited about 2022. The first thing we need to talk about is the Melee Manager. I love melee weapons so much. The Scythe has been such a breath of fresh air in Fortnite Creative, and I'm really excited about the prospect of getting more weapons like that in 2022. Let's just talk for a minute about what we know about the Melee Manager. So these are some of like the different settings that have been linked that are gonna come with it. So you'll be able to change some of the base damage of your weapons. You can even have a speed boost you gain when holding the weapon, everywhere from negative speed all the way up to like positive speed. I love that idea. You can have a critical damage percentage, so basically you have a chance of heading for stronger damage, anywhere from one times all the way up to a higher number. I can barely even read these guys, it's so tiny. You can turn on and off environmental damage with the melee weapons. You can have combo damage multipliers. Like this is starting to really feel amazing. Even like knockback multipliers, guys, there are a ton of really cool settings on this melee manager. There's even secondary attack damage. I am really excited to get all of these weapons in creative mode and just be able to like play around with these. The fact that we've had this leaked for months and months tells me Epic is really working to make it just right. And I can't wait to see it. Next, I'm super excited about the prospect of henchmen in creative mode. These are all of the different types of henchmen that have been leaked. Shadow, Ghost, Grotto, Shark, Rig, Kit, Io, Trespassers, Random. All of these will be available to us. At least I hope they will be. And these are all of the different things we should be able to manipulate with this device. The idea of being able to have, I don't know, 20 henchmen running around in an area. So you have to like fight back and they're are actually smart. These henchmen in Battle Royale were actually kind of smart. Being able to control them on your map, mixed together with zombies and wildlife, I mean, that is just tons of chaos and just a ton of fun maps that we could never do before, especially solo maps that we'll have access to be able to do now. I mean, just imagine with me for a second, a death run that you're jumping through, you're sliding, avoiding traps, but you've got 20 henchmen chasing you and you have to like fight them off as you're doing all this. Like that just sounds so fun to me and I really really can't wait to test the limits of them. Oh man, just the fun I'm gonna have with that. The third thing I just can't wait for is the prop manipulation device. Last month, I actually got to play a map that had early access to this device. You can see here just this building appearing out of nowhere. But as I think about this device, it gets me so excited. We've seen the cool things you can do with the character device, all the awesome animations and different things that you can do with things that can appear and disappear. Just being able to set up a sequence of things that look different, it adds so much beauty to the game. Now imagine doing that on a really large scale with buildings or props and being able to animate giant things
things with a prop manipulation device because you can make it appear and disappear on the screen. Not only that, being able to have like platforms and buildings that just appear out of nowhere that you can like jump on. I mean, I love that idea. So many levels, so many applications for live events, death runs, adventure maps, where whole areas appear out of nowhere. You can simulate magic. I don't know, there's just a lot is coming to my mind as I think about this device. And I feel like it's gonna be a huge game changer for creative mode, even more so than the previous two devices I just talked about. Now I'd be remiss to leave out the most important thing that's coming in 2022, Creative 2.0. Now I know I've talked about this a ton and ton just because they announced it over a year ago and I've just wanted to be here. So we've talked about it a lot and I fully expect this to actually release in 2022, but I also expect it to be a slow release where we'll just get a couple of tools at the beginning and then it'll slowly come out. Just like we've got with Creative 1.0. To say that Creative 2.0 is a game changer is an understatement. Like this isn't just gonna change Creative forever. It's like a whole new game. And I know that freaks some of you guys out. Like change is really hard. And I'm gonna have a whole video in a week or two that's gonna talk about how we can really prepare for this change, get ready mentally, as well as just physically for this big change. So make sure you're subscribed and notifications are turned on so you don't miss that video. And probably the number one thing I'm most excited for in 2022, even more so than Creative 2.0, is seeing what you guys create. I love doing my new season build challenges because I always get to see what you guys are making, what you guys care about, to see your talent and your abilities, you get to play your maps. That's what excites me more about creative mode than anything is just you. And 2022 is looking really good and really exciting because we're gonna get to tackle it together and I just can't wait.